morning rush begins now. A major crash has shut down all lanes of the turnpike northbound and southbound near Fort Pierce. This is near mile marker 162 north of the Okeechobee Road exit. You can see traffic backed up for miles in the area. Florida Highway Patrol reporting there are injuries. We don't know how many at this time. This has been going on since before 6 o'clock this morning. No word on when the highway will reopen. You will want to take I-95 as an alternate. Closing arguments begin this morning in the shocking video voyeurism case out of Palm Beach. The defense rested its case yesterday. We heard from the key witness who prosecutors say was watched getting dressed and undressed without her knowledge by Jeremy Lewis and Michael Riley. The two are accused of spying on a Palm Beach couple by accessing their home security cameras hundreds of times after they installed them. A $5,000 reward is now being offered for information leading to an arrest in the murder of a Volusia County man found dead in West Palm Beach. Police are trying to figure out how and why 56 year old William Tempesta ended up dead on the side of Jog Road near 45th Street earlier this month. It's about 200 miles from his home in Deltona. Investigators believe Tempesta was shot somewhere else and his body was dumped there. A new opposition campaign aims to stop a controversial land deal to build, to build luxury homes on Palm Beach County's Agricultural Reserve. The Coalition of Boynton West Residential Associations launched an online petition drive yesterday. They are urging county commissioners to vote against the land swap that would allow GL Homes to build on what's supposed to be protected land. A final vote on this project is scheduled for October 24th. The Palm Beach County School Superintendent is keeping parents and voters in the know when it comes to the district's priorities and challenges being faced in the year ahead. Superintendent Mike Burke spoke at an event hosted by the Palm Beach County League of Women Voters, tackling topics like navigating new legislation passed in Tallahassee to the ongoing teacher shortage. He says the school board will take up a proposal at their next meeting to raise teacher pay by 7.5%, a move he thinks will help get more teachers through the door. The Biden administration is once again offering free at-home COVID tests. These kids can be ordered on covid.gov slash test starting on Monday. Uh, that's this website right here. You can get up to four testing kits for your household and they're expected to be shipped out on October 2nd. We've got a link to this website right now on CBS12.com. Just click on the newscast links tab.